Welcome back everyone. Today's the 4th of October 2022 and today we're going to be having a tour around a one bedroom lock off villa at Walt Disney World Florida Beach Club Resort. Let's head inside. Villa number 310. We enter into the entrance hall and we notice we've got the lock off door to the um, one bedroom, the studio bedroom next door. <coughs> we've got the air conditioning controller, nice and cool in here. The seating area heading into the main seating uh, living area. Um, there are a couple of chairs which will go against this, which you'll see in a second. I did initially think where are the chairs, but you'll see in a moment where they are. So we um, head round into the main sitting area. We've got a three-seater couch, and here's a bit of a breakfast bar type of arrangement. And there's a couple of chairs which you could quite happily put against the uh, table there. We've got a large flat screen TV. Um, and in this uh, villa, there are loads of these standard jewel socket outlets and dual USBs, which is really nice. Really nicely themed. And if we head out on the balcony, this looks over the, uh, the quiet pool at the beach club, which is really nice. It'd be really handy to see when the hot tub is in use or not. There's a couple of chairs out here and a little table as well. So a lovely, uh, lovely lounge area to spend some time and if we head into the, uh, the kitchen area you notice we've got a full-size fridge freezer freezer at the top no ice maker and the fridge is at the, at the bottom full-size oven hob and microwave Toaster, Mr. Coffee, full-size dishwasher, sink. Very clean, very nice. Love, love the theming. Love having proper crockery, glass, china. It's really nice, actually. Um, knives and forks. It's really nice to have that. So we've just come from the um, Polynesian. Um, admittedly, it was a studio room, so uh, it was all paper cut through, which is horrible. So it's nice. This is the usual complement of DVC. Um, kitchenware which is really nice so let's move let's move around into the bedroom area so move into the bedroom and straight away we notice we've got a really lovely super king bed um, which is really nice actually super king bed and again both sides it's got the dual socket outlet and the dual usb a couple of nice drawers on each side as well very clean, very tidy. We have a drawer in the bottom of here, the luggage stand slash stool. Lots of drawers in the under TV unit. Nice television. Very nice little table next to the, uh, the chair, which draws into a very nice lamp stand as well. Little uh, writing desk, telephone. Lovely little lamp and another balcony on the, off the bedroom. We can have a quick look out of now. That's a lovely view, it's a lovely day. We're in Florida today. We were very lucky to arrive just after Hurricane Ian had uh, been passed and they didn't really have much devastation here, unlike the rest of Florida, which was quite devastating, which is a real shame. Um, but uh, they were lucky here in, in uh, Orlando. So we've got a lovely balcony here, lovely, lovely outside area. It's a lovely bedroom, really nice, really clean. Really like the bed, the usual Disney bed, which is excellent. Really looking forward to sleeping in there tonight. Love all the general color, the theming, the artwork, the colors. It's just really fresh, really modern, um, a bit more European maybe, really nice. Um, Love staying here, it's our favourite uh, Disney resort. So we move into the bathroom area. We've got a nice roll top bath. The usual H2O Disney amenities, which I believe are going away, which is really sad actually, because I do love them. Um, sink, 
some storage hairdryer underneath the sink. Again, looks very clean, which is really nice. And this heads off into a dedicated shower room and toilet. Again, another sink, another shower. So this door can be closed. So you can have people doing different things in different rooms. You can you can get back to the uh, the entrance hall through here, which is nice if you've got people staying in the in the lounge. Is the um, the loo room, which is clean, tidy, very nice, as you'd expect. So we'll go back through here just to get your feel. So you come back into the. Uh, I think it's really flexible space, really, actually, a real flexible space to use if you've got multiple people staying here. And of course, Pièce de la Résistance is the um, washer dryer. Who doesn't love doing their laundry when they're on holiday? We're going on a cruise this Sunday, so I'm really looking forward to doing my laundry. As you can tell, I'm quite excited about it. So um, we get everything clean, it's nice, got the usual American style top loading washer, stackable unit with the dryer. Comes with one set of washing detergent. If you can do more than that, it might be worth bringing a couple of little sachets yourself, which I have done. So the washing I mean, it is in there. And just a quick run round, just so you can see some of the theming. Again. Yes, very nice, very happy, very happy with this room. Looking forward to having a nice bath in here. But for now, oh, there is one more room actually to show you. The uh, little storage room here. Little storage room off the bathroom, which contains a luggage stand with Hoover, or vacuum cleaner. Um, distribution unit, which excites me. some electrics. Distribution unit, extra pillows, blankets, hanging space, laundry basket and a small little uh, little safe here. Oh, and an iron and a comb has an iron as well. So there you go that's the storage cupboard. So all in all very nice room very happy to be here. So I hope that maybe is helpful for you, helps you uh, make up, decide where to stay, um, gives you some useful little um, hints and tips. And uh, yes, I'll sign off now and see you again from another resort somewhere, probably on an MSC cruise ship actually, next uh, next week, which is where we're heading on Sunday for our honeymoon. So um, yes, you'll probably get another tour shortly from an MSC cruise ship. Thanks a lot, see you later, bye bye.